Assassin support main, Tyrael, Leo, Ga. Let's see, B O E. What is good here? Uh, Greyman, Sylvanas. But I'm not a good Sylvanas. Lunara is so so, actually. Hammer is good. Greyman. I think if I go Greyman and he goes Sylph, I'd be pretty happy with that. Victory ah. for the Forsaken. I'm the same as you, Sinner TV. I love the sound of keyboards to fall to sleep with. When do you pick Medivh? Generally against Kerrigan and on Braxis holdout. Medivh is a safe bet. Medivh is a counterplay hero, not really a pair him up with this hero kind of hero. is at hand. The crusade calls.
What do we got? Greymane, Tyriel, Lunara, Kel'Thas, Mouth. Looks pretty good. They have Johanna, Thrall, Savannah, Ariel, and Vala. Yeah. I think we have a good comp. Both comps pretty good. They got Savannah, so who is super good on this battleground. So easy, they're in the same place every time. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go for Wolfheart. You don't really need perfect aim. I have no plans for Team League yet, Tosha Karganu. Who's the solo laner? Me? Oh, they're cheesing it. Absolutely. Uh, what's wrong? Yeah, if, you, if you're using BTTV and you don't want links, just say remove, uh, don't show deleted message in your settings. Uh, mostly got out healed by the globe. Sixty six damage on draw, I did. Mm, I should definitely go to ours now. That was overall really good exchange. Yeah, Lunara gets really good at 7. So she was solo, that makes sense.
Why is Lunara good at 7? Uh, she gets Nature's Culling or any of her important damage talents. Uh, and especially Nature's Culling is really powerful when you push buildings because it does uh, two, two and a half times as much damage for poison on buildings. So if that were the case, we would send Lunara with the 4 man to push. But because he was still 4 and he's not reached his power level yet, that's that's why you uh, that's why you send Greymane along. Okay, that adds more damage. Let me mm, they could rotate this. downwards. I'm gonna get uh, incendiary elixir. I now need to try and get splash damage on Thrall. One. We need to do that 15 times. And then we'll get 4 seconds cooldown reduction and a lot of bonus damage. But I don't know where my opponents are. Yeah, they're pretty near. This I don't feel that way, Rex69. I would just be following what you say. We still have Fallen Shaman, they don't. Nice. 91 life! Holy! Nice. Oh my god, that was so good. Uh, Mark for the kill only works on heroes, so it doesn't work on Immortal. But I had Johanna vulnerable, 25% bonus damage for the entire fight. My curse will be there. <laughs> uh, poor 91. Perma vulnerability, zero damage. <laughs> no, it was alright. It was good. I think it put a lot of bonus pressure on Johanna, making him not be able to be as aggressive. But he has uh, reinforce the block and regen, so. Johanna top. No trank yet.
pretty weird position because uh, the way the mouth was standing, I couldn't move through and engage even if I wanted to. So I, I had to wait till he moved, or I would reveal myself. It's four v four. We could fight again. I have to move safely. Kel'thas apparently doesn't want to. But we are defending. Pretty deep, uh, Tyrael. Oh. Home run. See ya. <laughs> very good, very good. Yes, the cooldown for Mark for the kill is super low. Go for on the prowl. No perfect aim, baby rage. <laughs> that was much appreciated. Wow, that was so much damage. I need one more stack. <laughs> the mark for the kill finished the shot. <laughs> Final hit with mark. I thought the zero death dream was uh, to an end, but clearly I was mistaken. I didn't account for the amazing Malfurion heals. So si since Thrall is top, we can just go bottom here. Probably. Attack speed, executioner, alpha killer. I'm gonna go attack speed for the immortal. Mark does 360 damage. It's not the worst anymore. Okay. Okay, okay. It's uh, it's fine. Mark will be back soon. Uh tap to knack. Tap or shift tap is how you change your chat command. Yeah, they have we have four forts versus zero. Just don't die. 
Uh, Tyrael isn't here yet, and they're all missing, so I'm a bit... I don't really like attacking here. <laughs> not until Tyrael is here. They're not attacking. So. I'd like to stay behind Tyrael no matter what. Did not get my mark hit. We'll stay behind Tyrael. And we uh, we AoE the Immortal down to nothing. It's all good, it's all good. Whoa! That was much appreciated. Yes! Ariel didn't die though, too bad. Maybe if I find her? Wait, where's Ariel? <laughs> cool. That was, that was good. <laughs> Lunara was still working on the Immortal. Yay! <laughs> uh. <laughs> we did it guys ah all right quick talents build overview we had wolf heart on the prowl and eager wolf this is for the immortal and for kiting we had draft overflow and incendiary elixir because it adds a lot of bonus damage. Even though I missed a bunch of them. Perfect aim could have helped with that. But I feel like Wolfheart is much more reliable bonus damage on the Immortal. Mark is to pressure their front line. Thrall or Blumby. They have... Uh, we had three backliners. So I thought putting Mark on the front. To make sure that Johanna cannot get perfect position on us. Could really help us to pressure their backline. It's ironic. And also I... Uh, I do just prefer Mark. I do also want to try and make it viable. Whereas go for the throat is another way to jump in, which I'm a little bit nervous about since our support is Melf. Melf is amazing, but you need to kind of play it slow with Melf. So it worked out. It worked out. Uh, someone asked, why would you not pick the level one cocktail? Yeah, I do think the Wolfheart adds a lot. Plus I promise. What is he doing there? <gasps> Nice! Good shit!